And this aircraft, as you see, wears the RAF 100 logo on its tail, and uh, there's a very specific reason for that, because the aircraft that the Airbus Defence and Space crew on board are demonstrating today is in fact destined for the RAF. Once it's been used by Airbus as part of the A400M test programme, this will become the last example of the Atlas C1 to be delivered to the RAF for service not far from here at Bryce North. Distance, up to heights of 40,000 feet. Uh, the strategic uh, capability of this aircraft is, uh, is, is actually equivalent to its captain's capability. Later on, have been succeeding the hard work fleet of Hercules. Here we see the aircraft coming down with. Undercarriage down, in dirty configuration therefore. And another quite steep pitch up. The aircraft has a fully fly-by-wire controls and they give it a very wide envelope, 120 degrees in roll, no pitch limit and a roll rate of 35 degrees per second. And the recent use of the Atlas and RAF service gives you an idea of this machine's capabilities. They're due to work up the full operational capability in the tactical role in 2021, by which time the fleet will be complete, but they've been working up with low-level missions, operations for more CS strips, use of night vision goggles, and so forth. Plus, of course, training to drop parachutes. as the A400M comes to a stop and started backing up, then we have the next display item entering the arena, and to tell you about it, is flying officer Nick Humphreys. Thank you, Ben. Ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed the entrance of Flight Attendant Andy Sell, the 2018 Royal Air Force Chief Display Pilot. And he was born in Oxford and joined the Royal Air Force in 1984. Following a tour in Germany with the RF Regiment, he started flying training in 1988. On graduation, he was posted to RF Lionham to fly the Hercules. Operationally, and he has flown the Hercules transport aircraft in the Gulf in former Yugoslavia. He's also flown the Sentinel surveillance aircraft in Afghanistan and Libya. During his career, he's flown in 12,000 hours on 10 different aircraft flights. The 